Okay, so this is Mandalay's matrix, and these are the stakeholders that I've chosen to put into the matrix to prioritise uh, according to this delivering 12 stage. Um, so if we start at the top left, we've got uh, low level of interest and low level of power. Uh, so these would be, for example, I've chosen National Rail, Greenwich Town Business and local residents. National Rail, uh, at this stage, I think they kind of have a, a low interest and low kind of power because they've sorted um, out all the contract with allowing to use the land of, of the university. So I think that's kind of a bit um, low on their interest at the moment, but they're still going to be involved. Uh, I've also got local residents. Um, I think, again, at this stage, they're still going to be involved, they're still going to be affected by the project, but their interest is going to be not as much as it probably was in the initial stages when it was first happening. Um, and also, they won't have a great amount of power to do anything with low interest anyway. Uh, and then, of course, we've got high interest and low power. So, for example, I've got staff um, on the administrative side. Um, they'll be interested in how, um, I guess, space management is going to be um, is going to be dealt with. Similarly to lecturers, um, they're going to be wanting to have a, have a kind of an influence on how the lecture halls, the staff rooms, going to be panned out. But they're not going to have a lot of power to do this. Um, so yeah, that's them. Uh, and then high power but low interest. We've got students. Um, present and future is a, is a good example. Um, they won't be particularly interested at this point, but um, they will have a, a pretty high um, power if they were to gain interest of any sort. Um, also, when it's Osborne, the, the contractor from the previous stage, they, they won't be as interested because they've finished their contract, they still will have a fair amount of power. Uh, and finally, high, high level of interest and high power, you've got uh, project managers, um, the new contract the sub of the fit now the subcontractors, the funding bodies and the health and safety which is always obviously there. Um, the new contract the subcontractors will they will be quite interested because that's a new new stage for them, they'll be high in power and obviously high in interest and then obviously funding bodies. The University of Brent is going to be constantly interested and they're always going to have a very high amount of power. So once we've organised these into certain boxes, we can start to mitigate and lessen the risk of some of these stakeholders in this project. Um, now, the ones that had low interest and low power can pretty much be mitigated because minimal effort is required to engage these people. They've got no interest, really. And even if they did have, have interest, they wouldn't have any power. So these stakeholders can pretty much be mitigated. Um, whereas the stakeholders with low interest but high power, um, this is more of a lessening of risk that needs to be done here. Um, you need to be keeping them happy and satisfied, so you, you need to stop them from gaining interest, because once they gain interest, they can, they've got the power to affect the project in a negative way. Uh, and thirdly, we've got the stakeholders with in, high interest but low power, and again, you, you've kind of got to do a similar thing to the stakeholders with low interest and high power. Um, you've got to keep them informed, satisfied, you've got to kind of got to be on their side of it because um, they've got a high interest, they want to be involved but they've got no power to do it. So if they want to, if they really felt strongly about something, they would go out of their way to maybe kind of persuade someone with high power to do a certain thing. And this obviously has, will have a negative effect, um, well depending on the negative effect on the project. Um, so then we've got the prioritised stakeholders, the key stakeholders, um, these are the high interest and high power. Um, there's not really any way at this stage of completely mitigating um, these stakeholders at this stage. However, there are strategies that can be done to lessen the risk of them having a negative effect on the project. Um, and this, this strategy, these strategies will be communication, so talking, not only talking but listening as well. Um, so, the key stakeholders um, that I found at this stage of Stockwell Street, um, through the Deliver to 12 stage, are the project management, the external, uh, external project management, uh, the internal project management, um, 
the difference between the two being external deals with communications between the project internal project manager and the contractor and the client, so it kind of acts as a link. Um, and the internal is dealing directly with um, contractual uh, and the contractor, more on hands on the side. Um, and then we've got fitting out the subcontractors. Um, yeah, the, the, obviously it's the, it's the new contracts, so they've got to be high interest, high power. Uh, funding bodies, Greenwich University, always going to be there, and then finally, health and safety. Um, 